What I wanted to do in my lecture was highlight some of the kinds of stories that get into the media about cancer. And we can all imagine, you know, the broccoli causes cancer and cures cancer stories. And my particular favourite about how going to the toilet at night can give you cancer. That was in the Daily Mail. And I wanted to really lift the lid on how does this happen? How do stories get there? Because journalists don't make them up they actually usually get this kind of information from press offices, from university or research funders' press offices. So what happens when that goes wrong, when we do get bad coverage about cancer in the media? And what can people in the science communication community, in the cancer research community do to make sure that we get good, accurate information out? And also I wanted to raise a couple of challenges to people in the cancer research community about we need to be a bit braver, I think, because there's a, a narrative that's out there that cancer treatment is always a success. You know, we're, we're doing really well, we're winning the fight against cancer. But for many people, this isn't what they experience. And when there's a disconnect between what people experience in their real lives, that yes, sometimes people do get better from cancer, but they do have serious side effects or people do pass away. When there's a disconnect between that experience and what they're being told in the media about all these amazing new treatments and these new drugs and all this kind of stuff, that's where you get problems and you get conspiracy theories flourishing, you get the rise of uh, belief in alternative medicine, that that's the secret cure that we all need. So I think trying to address what's going on when we get stories in the media and how we can make these better, that's really what I wanted to do.